Hello and welcome back everybody. I wanted to try an experiment today with a swipe using a paper towel. I saw someone in a previous video do this and I have been dying to try it so that's what I'm going to do today. And I've got my blue, pink, and yellow mixed up again because I like the mixture when you know the colors mixed together and all the other colors that you get really fascinates me so that's what we're going to use today i have just my glue and water half and half in there and some of the m1 because my home depot does not carry flow trial but that is all that is in the tank and we're going to try swiping if that doesn't work i'll probably do a puddle pour or just play around with it and see what happens so thank y'all for watching and here we go. Alright, so this is the paper towel I'm using. It's got a swirl texture to it. I don't know if that really matters. This is just the paper towels that I have. So this is what I'm going to use. And this is more of a test right now. I'm out of canvases and I'm out of wood. So this is just a textured piece of cardstock that I had. And that's what I'm going to try to do this on today. So let's see, I'm just going to lay it on the yellow and let it pick up the paint and then pull it across. That didn't do as well as I would hoped, so I'm going to try again with some more yellow and press down a little bit harder. That worked better. So. I just pushed down as I swiped and I really like that and you can see the purple and the green that it made Ugh, I just love it and I'm going to torch it to see if popping those bubbles will do anything ah it's gorgeous I hope you can see that. That is so beautiful. Okay, I'm going to do another one over here. This time I'm going to do a little puddle pour and swipe it. So it's like a puddle swipe, I guess you could say. <laughs> And I'm going to do yellow in between each color. That way the blue and pink can mix with the yellow to make all sorts of colors. Now I'm going to swipe this with this other paper, paper towel piece that I have and press down a little like I did here the second time. See what happens. Cool. It mixed together and it made the colors again, the purples and the greens, but it's really not giving the effect that I'm looking for, so. Now that looks good. I love that with the cells and lacing that it did, but it's still not what I'm looking for. So I'm gonna swipe. I'm gonna do lines and swipe with a popsicle stick and see if that makes a difference. That makes the colors together a lot more that time, doing it that way. But it's a thinner layer of paint, so it can't really do much when the torch hits it. So, I'm going to get another piece of paper, get some images of this, and I'll be right back.
All right, so I got some images of those and I've got another piece of paper here and I have flipped it over to the smooth side and folded it in half because I'm gonna try and pour opposite colors on each side and then smash it together, open it and see what we get. Huh. <laughs> I think that looks pretty cool. I really like it. All right, guys, I'm going to get some images of this as well for you. And just want to say thank you for watching. This was a cool little experiment. I'll probably finish these paints up with a puddle pour. And I'll make that another video for you guys. Thanks for watching and I'll see y'all later.